I'm Toby Hodges from Yachting World and I am on board a beautiful new yacht at the Cam Boat Show. And this behind me is the Swan 65 alongside the Swan 78. And this is the new style of Frere's designed cruising swans. And the latest to join this is the new baby, the 48. The reason I'm showing you the other ones is because it shares quite a lot of those family resemblance and features you see on those bigger boats. And really what they do is to this new generation is to bring much higher freeboard, much more beam, the conventional swans of this size and a lot more volume, which we'll see when we get down below. Anyone that knows swans apart will know to compare this to a swan you know, for this one 46 for example of old you this has just got so much more boat this is a fairly standard layout um, there's three different moods below which we'll go into uh, from the cockpit though you will notice straight away how it's all set up to be able to manage pretty easily as yachts of this caliber are these days from the helm stations uh, and it's not a big gap between these helms pretty novel solution there for the single point main sheet which is the table separate to that but structural element on the back to take the loads of that which is German lead main sheet going forward to the gooseneck and back to the winches each side so these winches are within reach certainly the aft ones of the two helm pedestals this one painted blue uh, they tend to paint the dark colours rather than used pigmented gel coat. But the, the, the white ones and the grey ones are gel coat finish. So very smooth coach roof line. Uh, recessed cover here for the spray hood. Uh, seen pictures of the spray hood and it's a generous size. Gives plenty of protection and links up with the, with the bimneys to fully cover that cockpit area. nice wide side decks and the inboard sheeting angles there for the Genoa mounted on the coach roof with an option for a self tacker and this first model rigged with a Park Avenue boom and look at the example of the very nice detailing. Just a soft, a, a chamfer on that coach roof that gets soft here. Apparently, Frere's was involved with actually hand sanding that in the plug stage to make sure it suited his design correctly. Nice large sail locker uh, with the anchor chain brought aft to this watertight bulkhead both to bring the, the weight aft, but also to free up longitudinal space there to, to fit, you know, proper size code zero, code zero, maybe some fenders in there as well. Standard bowsprit with integral anchor roller in it as well, as per those larger yachts that we were just looking at. The 65 before and behind and the, and the 78 there. Look at that, what a beautiful looking boat. So moving back aft, got the bank of clutches each side leaving, leading to these reversible winches. And the side decks run right aft to come down into the cockpit behind the pedestals. You'll notice the transom door here with access from above into the tender garage so large enough i think it's a two and a half meter tender that can fit in there access to the steering gear cockpit not particularly deep but certainly with the aid of the cushions looks quite comfortable and that nice curved shape to the coach roof moving forward and then you step down into what for me looks just like 
proper swan glass down here. So you can see immediately the amount of volume and head, headroom, volume and accommodation, living accommodation you get from this modern hull shape. And I, I should point out at this stage that this, this trim, so this, this mood Swan describe it as, uh, is the most extreme in their words. So there's three different mood types. Uh, and this one being the third and most extreme just means really that there's a real mix of different wood colors, upholstery colors, that sort of thing. So you can obviously choose to go for something a lot more neutral, like wood trims. This has got a mix of this varnished woodwork as well as the, the light trim there, the blue upholstery, the tan leather on the mast base there, that sort of thing. So it's a real sort of contrast of different tones. Anyway, enough of my interior design talk. Moving forward here into the large owner's cabin forward. It's taken the locker taken right back aft there and you might just be able to see this breathable material used in the lockers to help keep them ventilated. And that's a bank of shelves, yeah. In that side, plenty of raised stowage all around the berth. And uh, I was told they really wanted uh, to have a lift a lifting berth, the storage underneath, but the, the yard guys don't like that sort of thing. They wanted proper drawers in there, so big, deep drawers. Finnish builders like to do things properly. Good amount of natural light pouring in through those port portholes in the hull and a big hatch above. And then a very generous heads area, particularly the shower, so see those double doors leading to that. So I'm five foot ten, you can see there's a good half a foot above me, loads of headroom still up here, not bad for a 48 footer. And then moving back aft, I'm sure some of you noticed there's no chart table in this format, but if you know the 54, you'll, you'll know that there's a forward chart table option for that there. All the tanks are located centrally under the floorboards here. Less pitching, weight all central. If you've been on the largest ones, you see all the fixtures and fittings very similar to that. So this is a starboard heads and shower with its own access from this proper twin cabin which goes that berth going right under the cockpit there plenty of space still plenty of headroom in here huge windows lots of natural light again good stowage and yeah its own access into that starboard heads as well neat details wherever you look look you can't see where the actual bulbs and those indirect lighting is all around the floorboards. And then moving into the galley, force 10 stove, proper job. That's what I was saying, the sort of features you see in the larger boats, those front opening proper stainless steel fridges. This one I think has an ice box in there, an ice maker in there. and splits the galley here so you can brace up against this inboard section which is used for this double sink and then it's just the port double cabin after that so this area if i remember rightly can be used as a storage cabin which extends the galley space so you can take the galley space further aft and just have this as a two cabin boat with plenty more storage in there, which I think actually would be a very good choice because, well, 
I don't know, if I own this yacht, I'd only invite one set of friends aboard at a time. The displacement of the boat, 15 tonnes, and Swan have a very good reason to believe that this is going to be an exceptionally popular model. A, yes, because of its size and its price, so it's a sub-million euro boat, and especially for the US market, to have something below 50 feet again should be very popular. And I'm not just saying that to be nice to Swan, but they have already sold, believe it or not, 24 of this model. 24 boats. And this is the first show that's been at. Not bad going now to Swan. <laughs>